Miss Adel. Oh, man. I was, um, <laughs> I was in Sweden when that song came out, and I literally was like, I didn't recognize Adele's voice. Um, I just was like, what is this, when I came on the radio? And it was, at that point, it was everywhere. Um, and I didn't have my ear to the ground, you know, for music while I was there. So it was like, when it came over, like, an intercom at the time, I remember sitting there just going, what is this? I didn't have Shazam or anything like that. But I remembered it, I remembered the one lyric that I heard, and I went and Googled it, and it was like, whole, it was just, it's a life-changing song. It's like, uh, it's a game changer. It's really cool. And she's a badass. Yeah, she's just She deserves amazing. every everything that's happening. It's like a real artist with real songs and a great record. It's not just a bunch of crap pop manufactured yeah. by 19 people. It's like an artist. Single ladies. Love that song. Like, so I'm one. Who right? didn't what hear that song and like get yeah. up out of that their seat great. and like see it and be like, <laughs> you know, it's like it's that like, track was just great track. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it's just so fun. It's she's just like calling all women. Beautiful day. <laughs> he pushes the buzzer. Coolest thing about that song was that a band at, at their age could come around the corner like that with an absolute 1,000 batted smash number one awesome song. The whole world was just distraught and freaked out by 9-11. And that song just went bam. I, I do miss, it is a great song, but I miss the, the chimey edge guitars. They didn't do so much on that track. Don't worry, be happy, Bobby right. McFerrin. Yes. Good job. Hey, Work. I'm good at this crap. I should be on Jeopardy or whatever the hell that show is. Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great song. Wasn't the story some like like some guy was singing it on the road, like like hanging out with his guitar, like he's like a bum or something, and somebody gave him fifty bucks and and bought the song. Really? That's what I heard. It's a great song. I heard that more than once. Wow. Don't worry. Be happy. So that's where I gotta find my melodies from now on. Bums. Bums. <laughs> Roberta Flack. Oh man, I've I, got. I didn't actually know I've got like six copies of this on vinyl. I don't know why, but when it's my fave. It's like every time I see it, I'm like, I could well, buy it again. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. Only on vinyl, but I do like, because I don't know. I just who, who redid that one? The Fugees. Mm. But that song is so good and. It has really lasted the test of time because you know there's a lot of songs that the lyrics are so amazing. Yeah, it's it's so real. Like she <laughs> tells a story, in with those lyrics that just like, <clears throat> are it's so well done. It's so well done. I just love it. That song is literally there's times where that song's got me through stuff. That's how much I adore that song. Roberta Flack in general, I love.